Well, welcome everyone. We are glad you are with us. This is our uh, YouTube show before the show, of course, as we get our office ready to go live on Facebook. I will call us up and get us ready. Um, just want to thank you all for being here. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notifications of, of when we have content posting. We're posting all the time, but Thursday is definitely a busy day. We have two offices, uh, morning and evening, as well as the rector's vlog. Um, and I'll tease it today. I'm going to go down to Daly's Pond, which is just down the street from us Ooh. in South River. We're going to do an outside shot today. Um, because it's such a beautiful day outside, and I, I thought we might do that. Um, but in any event, um, please do join us and uh, check out our content. There are multiple playlists, multiple things to do. We're honored to have you here with us today as you begin your day. So um, as we move into the, uh, the remainder of Lent, just a reminder that um, our worship online will be virtual on Sunday. And uh, that is because Laura and I attended um attended a wedding a family wedding and we just out of an abundance of caution we want to make sure we stay quarantined um and keep everybody safe um please pray for us we're going to go get tested tomorrow just to make sure we both feel fine we're doing great but uh, we're just doing that to uh, make sure that everybody stays safe um, we actually have some uh, intercessions today. If you are watching on YouTube and you'd like to leave a comment, um, we promise to pray your intercessions at the next office. Um, but if you're going to be watching on Facebook, of course, you can do that in real time. All right, here we go. We are up and online. Let me uh, bring us up here and make sure that everything is copacetic on our broadcast. Yes, it is. And we will begin. Oh, here comes Bill Carr. We'll let him in too. There we go. All right. Morning prayer for this Thursday, the uh, second week in Lent. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgivenesses. Though we have rebelled against him, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us. My brothers and sisters, let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in unison for, in unison for the antiphon and invitatory. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath 
that they should not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us adore him. Psalms 70 and 71. I'll offer the odd. You guys can respond with the even. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be, those put, be put to shame, shame and, confusion and confusion who seek my, seek my life. life. Let them be, those be, let those be turned back and brought, and brought to, to dishonor, dishonor who desire, who desire to, to hurt me. Let those who say, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. Let all who, all who seek you rejoice, rejoice and be glad, and in, you. Be glad in you. Let those, Let those who love, who love salvation your salvation say, say evermore, God, God is, great. is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help, my help and, and my, my deliverer. deliverer. O, o Lord, Lord do, not do not delay. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, righteousness deliver, deliver me and rescue, and rescue me. me. Incline, Incline your ear to me and, and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, rescue me O my God. From the, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you, Upon you I have leaned from my birth. It is you who took me from my mother's womb. My praise, my praise is continually of you. I have been like a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth, my mouth is filled with your praise and with, and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength is spent. For my enemies speak concerning me, and those who watch for my life consult together. They say, pursue and seize that person whom God has forsaken, for there is no one to deliver. O God, God do not be far from me. O my, oh my God, make haste to help me. Let my accusers be put to shame and consumed. Let those who seek to hurt me be covered with scorn and disgrace. But I will, but I will hope, hope continually and will praise you yet more, and more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous acts, of your deeds of salvation all day long, though their number is past my knowledge. I will come, will come praising the mighty deeds of the Lord God. I will, I will praise your righteousness Yours. Yours alone. O God, from my youth you have taught me, and I still proclaim your wondrous deeds. So even, even to, to old age and gray hairs, O, o God, God, do not forsake me until, until I proclaim your might to, to all, all the generations to come. Your power and your righteousness, O God, reach the high heavens. You who have done great things, O God, who is like you? You, you have made me see Many, many troubles and calamities will revive Five me again <clears throat> depths of the earth you will bring me up, me up again you will increase my <laughs> honor and comfort me once again i will also, also praise, praise you with the harp, harp of your faithfulness oh my, oh my god, god. I, will sing I will sing praises to you with the oh, lyre. Oh, holy oh holy one of israel my lips will shout for joy when i sing praises to you my soul also, which you have rescued. All day long, day long my tongue will talk of your righteous help. For those, for those who try to do me harm have been, have been put to shame and disgrace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. On that day, says the Lord, courage shall fail the king and the officials. The priests shall be appalled and the prophets astounded. Then I said, ah, Lord God, how utterly you have deceived this people and Jerusalem saying, it shall be well with you even while the sword is at the throat. My anguish, my anguish, I writhe in pain. Oh, the walls of my heart, my heart is beating wildly. I cannot keep silent, for I hear the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Disaster overtakes disaster. The whole land is laid waste. Suddenly my tents are destroyed, my curtains in a moment. 
How long must I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people are foolish, they do not know me. They are stupid children, they have no understanding. They are skilled in doing evil, but do not know how to do good. I looked at the earth and lo, it was waste and void and to the heavens and they had no light. I looked on the mountains and lo, they were quaking and all the hills moved to and fro. I looked and lo, there was no one at all and all the birds of the air had fled. I looked and lo, the fruitful land was a desert and all its cities were laid in ruins before the Lord, before his fierce anger. For thus says the Lord, the whole land shall be a desolation, yet I will not make a full end. Because of this, the earth shall mourn and the heavens above grow black. For I have spoken, I have purposed, I have not relented, nor will I turn back. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning, the song of Zechariah in unison. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father, Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second reading, a reading from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. All who have sinned apart from the law will also perish apart from law, and all who have sinned under law will be judged by the law. For it is not the hearers of the law who are righteous in God's sight, but the doers of the law who will be justified. When Gentiles, who do not possess the law, do instinctively what the law requires, these, though not having law, are law to themselves. They show that what the law requires is written on their hearts, to which their own conscience also bears witness, and their conflicting thoughts will accuse, or perhaps excuse them, on the day when, according to my gospel, God, through Jesus Christ, will judge the secret thoughts of all. But if you call yourself a Jew and rely on the law and boast of your relation to God and know his will and determine what is best because you are instructed in the law, and if you are sure that you are a guide to the blind, a light to those who are in darkness, a corrector of the foolish, a teacher of children, having in the law the embodiment of knowledge and truth, you then that teach others will not teach yourself while you preach against stealing, do you steal? You that forbid adultery, do you commit adultery? You that abhor idols, do you rob temples? You that boast in the law, do you dishonor God by breaking the law? For, as it is written, the name of God is blasphemy among the Gentiles because of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this morning, a song to the Lamb. Together, splendor and honor and kingly King power, power are, are yours Lord, by Lord, right, Lord, O Lord, Lord our God. God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. 
The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine heritage. Govern them, Govern them and, and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee. And we, and we worship, worship thy, thy name, name ever, ever. World, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy on us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us. As our, As our trust, trust is in thee. thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me, let me never, never be confounded. O Lord, strong and mighty, Lord of hosts and King of glory, cleanse our hearts from sin, keep our hands pure, and turn our minds from what is passing away, so that at the last we may stand in your holy place and receive your blessing. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before thee for all members of thy holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and godly serve thee through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite you to offer any intercessions or thanksgivings you may have at this time. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, please let us know what your prayerful intentions are. And together we'll offer a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon where there is discord, union, where there is doubt, faith, where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for Roger, who is receiving a pacemaker today, for Martine, who is preparing for a procedure. We pray for all who are sick or struggling with injury. We pray for all who are doing everything they can to relieve the suffering of others. We give thanks for the turning of the seasons and pray for a grace-filled springtime. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, 
for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world the knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for attending morning prayer today. As I said earlier during the YouTube setup, um, be aware that we have a lot of content posting today. We have the uh, YouTube vlog for the rector coming out later on this morning, as well as the emus arriving in your inboxes. Lots of information about what's happening in the life of Christ as we cross into Mid-Lent here at St. Peter's. Um, we are beginning to think about and pray over what we can do in, uh, in Holy Week, so we'll keep you posted on that. We have evening prayer at five, and of course, join us for worship on Sunday, which will be from um, Laura's and my dining room table. So we look forward to seeing you all there. And uh, God bless you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.